Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me for another behind the scenes look as I make some embeds for the next soap. As you would have seen in the picture at the start of this, we are making licorice all sorts and we'll be using a mix of melt and pour and soap dough. So let's go. Right, so the first licorices I am going to create are the little square ones that you get where you get the bright colours and the licorice in between. So I've got a little template here of all the different licorices I do want to create. And then on another piece of paper here I've got a kind of a template of my mould so I know which layers I'm pouring into each of my squares here. I am going to be using some of the Stevenson's No Sweat White Melt and Pour. I really like this one because it literally does not sweat in our humid weather. The trick is to be melting it down nice and gently and not overheating it. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to go and uh, melt this down in short 20 to 30 second bursts until it's completely melted. So we are now melted down and I'm going to leave this one just as the white. I'm going to do the traditional sort of colours, so the black and white one, the pink and black and white and also the yellow, black and white. So the first thing I'm going to do is in this one I'm going to do my black and white layers. I'm just going to pour a very, very thin layer of the white so we can make sure we get all of our layers in here. Just pour a little bit more, make sure it comes up to all of the corners. And I've got some rubbing alcohol here, just give it a quick spritz to burst those bubbles. This one here I will be doing as just the pink, black and white. So I'm going to pour a slightly thicker white layer in here because we're only going to have the three colours. And this one down back here is going to be the one that has the yellow middle. Usually the yellow is quite a thick layer and the white and the black are usually quite thin. So we've just got that nice thin layer in there. I'm going to let this set up and then we're going to come back and we're going to do some pink I think will be the next colour. So for the next one I have added some Bubblegum Bliss Mica into this white and I'm just going to stir that in and then I'm going to pour this particular one which is going to be my pink, black, white, black, pink um, licorice all sorts. Now what I'm doing in between each of these pours, I have a jug or a pot over on my stove that has some warm water in it and I'm actually popping these jugs back into the warm water so that this melt and pour stays fluid and I don't have to keep reheating it in between so that I don't actually damage the integrity of the melt and pour. For my black layers I'm going to be using some activated charcoal and in my yellow layer I'm going to be using some wellington. I'm going to fast forward through the next bit because I'm pretty sure you know how to actually melt down your melt and pour and pour the layers. set up and it's time to start making them look a little bit more like the actual lollies that we are so used to seeing. So I'm just going to simply pop them straight out of the moulds here. That one's looking really good. I'm really pleased with that one. So is that one. I'm a bit concerned about this one. We'll see what it's like. Oh, it's not too bad once we get that one all chopped up too. So what I'm going to do, we'll just pop those to the back. I'm going to start with my yellow one first. And all I'm going to do is cut it up into thirds. So we'll go that way. And we'll do another one. We'll turn it around and we'll cut these up again into thirds just to make those little cubes. that will be some of our licorice all sorts to go in the middle so let's get these other ones cut up too okay so we have all of these little licorices all now done up and it is time to move on to the next style 
Okay, so for the next ones I am going to use some soap dough and we have some pink which I made for the marshmallow soap. I have some yellow and I have some black. First thing I'm going to do is start with my black. I'm just going to mold it around in my hand just to get it nice and warm and pli pliable. And then I am going to roll out some little sausage shapes. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with those two there. The first one I'll do is my pink because it is already unwrapped. I am just going to get, again, this one warm enough to start molding. And then what I'm going to do is just roll that out a little bit. And I'm going to roll this out flat. I'm going to put some more cornstarch on my mat here just to stop it from sticking. And then I'm just going to roll this one out into a bit of a rectangular shape. Oop, try not to get it to stick back on itself. All right, and then I'm going to take one of these black ones that I've done. I'm just going to pop that into the middle. I am going to grab my knife and just trim this down to the right sort of size. We'll take that bit off there. Move that one out the way and chop that one down. And I'm just going to straighten up my sides here as well. Just make sure that that's not stuck to my mat. In fact, we might use the inside here because I've got a bit of black already stuck on here. Just going to give that a quick spritz with a bit of alcohol just to help with these sticking together. Going to put my black back into the middle here and I'm just going to roll the pink over the black here because here I'm trying to do the licorice all sorts which have the licorice in the middle and then that pink coating on the outside. So just going to roll that up, get the ends to meet, just smooth them together a little bit and then I'm going to roll it back out. So we are now nice and smooth and I'm just going to grab my knife, we'll chop the end off there. Just going to give it a quick spray with a bit of that alcohol so it glides through and then I'm just going to chop myself lots of little pieces. Alright, so there are my little pink ones and I'm going to do another lot with the pink and then I'll do some yellow ones as well. I decided I had to do a few of the um, white with the black licorice on the outside. So this is what we have got so far out of our soap dough ones. I have one more type of licorice I want to make. So I'll just get this mess cleaned up and then I'll be right back. So on to the last type of licorice that I am going to make. Now the Bassett lic licorice all sorts were one of those sort of Christmas treats that we had in the house. Mainly because they were mum's favourite sort of treat and I did develop a real liking for anything that was licorice or aniseed. Out of the Bassett's All Sorts box I had a couple of favourites. I always liked the little licorice man that you used to get in them but you very very rarely got them or got very few of them in a box. I liked these black and white ones as well. Um, I wasn't so fussed on the square ones. I used to pick the layers apart and then um, just eat the licorice out of them because I didn't like the pink and the, the yellow stuff. But my all-time favourite were the ones that we were going to make right now. So I've just rolled myself a bit of a sausage with the black and all I'm going to do is cut myself lots of little pieces just like that. So now that 
I've got those back out into their little round shape. If anyone knows those um, those licorice all sorts, you'll know exactly which ones I am going to attempt to make here. All right, so I've got a little bowl here, and what I have, I have some blue, and I also have some pink Jehovah beads. And what I'm going to do is pop some of these blue ones in. We'll start with blue first. I'm going to put some blue ones in here, and then knock that back in. I am going to grab one of my pieces here, and I am just going to push it into these Jehovah beads. And these are to make the the black licorice ones which have all those little round um what are they hundreds and thousands on the outside so that is a blue one i'm going to do all of these using the blue and then i am going to make some more and use the pink because you always get pink and blue ones off making my licorice and then getting ready to make the next soap here I hope you have enjoyed watching how I am making the licorice to go on it and if you haven't already guessed I will be using my black licorice fragrance oil um, if you have enjoyed watching me why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below if you have any questions I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can and until the next video I hope you have a good one bye <music>